Hola, I'm Jordan and this is a Spanish quickie. Fast, easy Spanish lessons from somebody who speaks your language. In today's video, we're gonna go over Spanish pronunciation, what you need and don't need to worry about, and my personal tactic to learn how to pronunciate everything in Spanish in just one day. When I took Hebrew in college, I was shocked that the entire class was able to read Hebrew fluently after just one week. Don't get me wrong, we had no idea what we were reading, but we could all read awesome after one week. Think about that. Half the class had zero experience with Hebrew and had never seen even one letter before. It turns out, after you learn what sound each letter makes, Hebrew is really not that hard to read when you already know how to read another language. So, if my entire class could read Hebrew with all those strange letters and symbols after just one week, I think it's fair to say that you can learn how to pronunciate Spanish in just one day. I mean, our letters are almost all exactly the same and they usually make the same sounds even. In fact, if you can read English, you can basically already read Spanish. I put together a little list of the letters and the sounds they make. It's really straightforward and there's no reason to go through it now in this video. Over at gringoespanol.com slash pronunciation, you can find the list along with the audio and whatever else I mentioned in this video. There are a few key items I want to call your attention to right now though. First, those rolling R's. If you can do it, awesome. Do it when you see two R's like this. One R is just a normal R. But if you can't do the rolling R, who cares? They'll understand you if you use the normal R for the rolling R. Plus, the rolling R is quite rare. Very few words have the double R. Okay, the I. That's actually called E in Spanish and makes an E sound. That's tricky at first. Just know when you see an I, it's an E and makes the E sound. Then the E is called E and makes the E sound, like in hello. Then there's the Y. I don't even remember what it's called in Spanish because it's not important, but Y makes the E sound just like the I does, which is actually an E in Spanish. Confused yet? Don't worry, I'll give you a solution in a second. Now, I should probably tell you while you're here, just the letter Y, it makes the E sound, like I said a second ago, but when you see it alone, just a little old Y all alone, it's actually the word for and. So when you wanna say and in Spanish, just say E. It looks weird at first, but you'll get used to it fast. Okay, next is the Ñ, which looks like an N with a squiggly above it. The Ñ makes the Ñ sound, like señor or señora, which is Mr. or Mrs respectively. Those are two good words to know. All the vocab words in this video will be added to the word list, which you can find at gringoespanol.com slash downloads. Then there's the double L. Whenever you see two L's next to each other, that makes the sound of a Y in English, basically. So the word spelled L-L-A-M-A-R is pronounced yamar. Last thing, those accents. Don't worry about them too much. Once in a while they come into play, but usually when you see them, just say the word like you normally would. Yes, you're supposed to stress that syllable, but it won't matter 99% of the time and your energy and effort is better spent elsewhere. Now, here's my trick for learning how to pronunciate Spanish in just one day. Find a song you like and listen to it over and over again while reading the lyrics to the song. That way you start to associate the sounds with the letters. Since you're picking a song you like, this won't be work. I've embedded three of my favorites at gringoespanol.com slash pronunciation. If you don't love any of those songs, sometimes it takes more than one play to fall in love with a song, then use Spotify or YouTube to find something that you do love. Below each video, I've put a link to the lyrics of that song. Just play the song and read along with the words as it plays. At first, it'll be hard to follow along at all. It'll sound like complete gibberish, but if you listen to it at least twice, you'll be amazed how much better you are the second time. For that reason, it's important to stick with the same song and listen to it over and over again. Repetition is the key with everything in language learning. If you jump from one song to another, it'll help, but not as much as if you had stuck with the same song. If you feel at all overwhelmed, just focus on one verse or the chorus. Keep going over that part until you have it down, then go to the next. If you really want to get this down, sing along with the words. It'll be tough at first for sure, but it'll get easier each time and you'll feel amazing afterward. Now, here's what I want you to do. Go to gringoespanol.com slash pronunciation and pick one of those songs. Click the link below that video to bring up the lyrics to that song, then play the song three times while you're reading along. Then come back here, tell me what song you picked and how it went. Was it easier to understand the second time, the third time? 
time and that's it for today if you found this information valuable make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel or like my facebook page and if you want to gain access to exclusive training material i only share with my email subscribers it would be a smart idea to hop on the email list by clicking the link below this video or going directly to gringoespanol.com do it now